It's time to go on location. Experience everything behind the scenes and get to know the cast and crew Action. on set with Hallmark Channel. Love is in full bloom on the set of the Hallmark Channel original movie, Flower Girl. This is going to be the most beautiful wedding ever. Thank you. You're welcome. This is the one day for these girls when they are the queen and the star of their show. It, it feels to me like a classic, you know, a real classic sort of uh, romantic comedy, you know? Not even Tolstoy, the greatest writer ever, could figure out why women do what they do. But that's easy. Love. I am asking you to be my wife. <laughs> you don't have to answer right away. I know that I'm kind of rushing this, and the last thing I want to do is rush you, but... It wasn't the obvious, like, here's the jerk, you know, who the audience really hopes she doesn't pick, and then there's the really nice guy. You know, it, they, they didn't have those cliches in it. It's almost like where the audience is going to feel like, who would I pick? I don't know if I was in that situation. Why am I so confused? You think with modern women, you are free. You are free. In the old days, literally, it was bargaining. You know, to marry well. She can totally marry from her heart. It sort of unfolds in, in an almost easier way with, with, with Laurel and Stephen. Like, they really enjoy each other's company, and, it, and it, it kind of organically happens. I try to give her a few pearls of wisdom, just guide her in the right direction. You know a guy is ready for a commitment if he brings up subjects like marriage and children, or, or, or you know, is honest and open about his day-to-day -day activities and gives you jewelry. What's fun is the girls are all reading these articles about how to pick the perfect man, you know, husband. Well, and all these red flags. I know this sounds crazy, but I think he could be the one. The one? But I thought you said that he was just in town for the wedding, right? And even he is, feels maybe this is too good to be true, and, you know, he's trying to write this book, and he's in town to, you know, not be distracted by things. And So are you with <laughs> Stephanie or Bill? Neither. I'm just the flower girl. Never say you're just anything. I mean, these aren't just flowers. It's a work of art. So what do you think I should do? Who should I choose? Well, I think you should go for both. Both? Yes! Keep dating the charming, mysterious guy, but also date the doctor guy on the side, just in case. Well, I actually just got engaged in my real life. Yeah, so it was really funny. I got engaged and then maybe three days later I got the offer for this movie and my manager was like, well, you can do some research for flowers for your wedding because you just got offered a movie that's about a wedding. We actually kind of a kind of a small um, wedding. It was in it was in uh, the backyard of my wife's aunt's house in, in Las Vegas and uh, we sort of decked out the whole backyard and, and had uh, close family and friends come out from LA and, and my family came from overseas and it was, it was sort of more of an intimate outdoor thing. It was, it was really nice, actually. Xantodesia Ethiopica. Gorgeous. If you were a flower, what kind of flower would you be? Are you seriously going to do this to me? OK, let me think. <laughs> it to everybody. OK, I would have to say jasmine. Oh, I would be a gardenia. Oh, that's good. Can be a vine or a flower, so it can keep going on and on. Good gosh. I would like to be a pansy. Wouldn't that be pretty? <laughs> it's a pretty face. I always like sunflowers. Those big sunflower things. I think I'd be a sunflower. Um, so yeah, either a gardenia or a tubero, somewhere in that family, that Hawaiian scented deliciousness. I love that. She's so beautiful and so capable. She's got really a big career behind her already. And she's just the loveliest person in the world. She's so awesome. I mean, she's, you know, iconic. Like we were saying before, she's just one of those people that you instantly know her and feel connected to her. And she really believes in the project and wants to really make it as good as we can. So that's always fun, too. In a way, you think, well, how do you, how do you characterize these people? Because we're all just so nice. We're just so swell. And uh, we'll just leave it at that, you know? I think this movie is trying to tell us uh, kind of get a little bit to laugh at ourselves at some of the things that we take a little bit too seriously. And also, you know, you got to put yourself out there in the proper way, and love will reveal itself. Hallmark is one of the few places where you're going to get a beautiful story, a real story you care about. And you know, the audience craves wonderful stories. Call me crazy, but I, I don't want to be married to someone just for the sake of being married. I want love. 
take a walk down the aisle with Flower Girl on Hallmark Channel.